This is the, it's literally the first time the robot has operated without a tether was on stage tonight. can actually do a lot more than we just showed you. We just didn't want it to fall on its face. Uh, yeah, we wanted to show a little bit more what we've done over the past few months with the bot. And just walking around and dancing on stage. Uh, just humble beginnings, but uh, you can see the autopilot neural networks running as is, just retrained for the bot uh, directly on that, on that new platform. That's yeah. my watering can. Yeah, when you, when you see a rendered view, that's, that's the robot. What's the, that's the world the robot sees. So it's, it's it very clearly identifying objects, that, like this is the object it should pick up, picking it up. Um, yeah. We use the same process as we did for Autopilot to collect data and train neural networks that we then deploy on the robot. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. And we actually have uh, an Optimus bot with uh, fully Tesla designed and built actuators, um, battery pack, uh, control system, everything. Um, it, it, it wasn't quite ready to walk, uh, but it, I think it will walk in a few weeks. Um, but we wanted to show you the, the robot, uh, the, 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 something that's actually fairly close to what will go into production and, um, and show you all, all the things it can do. So let's bring it out. So here you're seeing uh, Optimus with uh, the, the, these the, with, the, with the degrees of freedom that we expect to have in Optimus production unit one, uh, which is the ability to move uh, all the fingers independently, uh, move the uh, to have the, the thumb have uh, two degrees of freedom, uh, so it has opposable thumbs, and uh, both left and right hand, so it's able to operate uh, tools and do useful things. Our goal is to make um, a a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. And uh, we've also designed it using the same discipline that we use in designing the car, which is to say to, to design it for manufacturing uh, such that it's possible to make the robot at, in, in high volume uh, at low cost uh, with high reliability. And it, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. Okay. The, the, the potential for Optimus is, I think, appreciated by very few people. <laughs> hey! <laughs> As usual, Tesla demos are coming in hot. So... Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, the, 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 I'm, the, the team's put, a, put in, and the team has put in an incredible amount of work, uh, uh, working days, you know, seven days a week, uh, burning the 3 a.m. oil to, to to get to the demonstration today. Um, super proud of what they've done. It's, they've really done done a great job. I just like to give a hand to the whole Optimus team. I think we want to have um, f really fun versions of Optimus. Um, and uh, so that Opt Optimus can both do, be utilitarian and do tasks, but can also be kind of like a friend um, and a buddy and, and um, 
hang out with you. And uh, I'm sure people will think of all sorts of creative uses for this robot. I think the mission effectively does, does somewhat broaden with the advent of Optimus uh, to, uh, you know, I don't know, making the future awesome. So, you know, I think you look at Optimus and um, I don't know about you, but I, I'm excited to see what Optimus will become. And, you know, this is like, you know, if, if you could, I mean, you can tell like any given technology, if, are you, do you want to see what it's like in a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, 10? I'd say for sure. You definitely want to see what, what's happening with Optimus. Um, whereas, you know, a, a bunch of other technologies are, you know, sort of plateaued. Um, don't name names here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so I think Optimus is going to be incredible in like five years, ten years, like mind blowing. And I'm really interested to see that happen. And I hope you are too. We'll start, you know, just trying to how do we make it useful at all, um, and then and then gradually expand the number of situations where it's useful. Um, and I think that that the number of situations where Optimus is useful will will grow exponentially, um, like really, really fast. Um, and in terms of when people can order one, I don't know, I, I think it's not that far away. Um, well, I think you mean when can people receive one. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I'm like, I'd say probably within three years, not more than five years. Within three to five years, you could probably receive an Optimus.